Hey, what's up guys? We're continuing on the series with the best SDS rotary hammers. And on this episode, we got another Milwaukee Tool SDS rotary hammer. So if you've been following the series, we know, you know we've probably tested like three or four of them so far. And we've already tested a brushless D-handle style model. But on this episode, we're gonna be talking about the M18 Fuel brushless one inch SDS rotary hammer. So if you wanna know more about this tool, top to bottom, see how it stands up against the other Milwaukee tools and other SDS rotary hammers we've tested so far, stick with us. This right here is a M18 Fuel 1 inch SDS Plus D handle style rotary hammer. This tool is powered by the Fuel M18 technology and delivers faster than corded speed, corded durability, and all day work on one charge. This tool is powered by the Power State brushless motor, provides a whopping 1.7 foot pounds of impact energy. 1400 RPM and 4900 BPM. This tool is designed and runs with the Milwaukee M18 red lithium packs to uh, provide all day work on a single charge and with the XC high output batteries can provide up to 20% more power and recharges two times faster than standard lithium packs. This uh, M18 tool is protected by the Red Link Lithium Plus, has three modes, has up to a solid bit capacity of one inch, can core a thin wall up to two and a half inches, and is packed by Milwaukee's standard five-year warranty. This tool weighs a whopping 6.05 pounds. So this right here is obviously the front part of the tool. We'll go ahead and start with this chuck, okay? So this right here is an SDS Plus chuck, and it's a pretty standard chuck. You insert twist lock, and it's pretty good to go. Not gonna fall out, had no issues uh, to eject the bit. You know, you gotta pull back on the collar and then pull the bit out, okay? And just to remind most people, this is an SDS Plus chuck. It can also take SDS bits, but it cannot take SDS max bits, right? So just keep that in mind, all right? So moving around to the front here, it's got this plastic uh, handle that is infinitely adjustable, right? And we will point out, it will say Milwaukee on three parts of this handle. One on the front part of the handle, another one on the back side, and also right here. So, you know, just in case you weren't sure your tool was Milwaukee, it'll definitely tell you right there. Uh, this tool is a power, or this handle is power tool plastic, uh, but I don't, can't imagine you're gonna have any issues with it because it's pretty strong power tool plastic and it is infinitely adjustable to figure out where you wanna put it. And then you can cinch down, you know, twist down on the handle tidy, and then it locks this metal collar into place, cinches down on this collar, and then it, it's pretty stable, right? And not gonna have any issues, okay? So, um, you know, that's pretty standard there. The other thing to point out in here is a depth rod system that is right here. On all the other tools or the other model of this that we checked out in a previous episode, this uh, depth rod lever adjustment was black. But on the fuel tools, this depth rod adjustment is red, you know, just to make that differentiation there. So uh, this right here is obviously a left-hand part of the tool. And just in case you forgot you're using a Milwaukee tool, it'll say Milwaukee here and also say fuel here. It'll also say fuel on the back here just in case. But, you know, they just want to make sure you remember you're using their best in class, right? So uh, this right here is the uh, three position or the uh, different modes you can adjust. And no, your camera is not crooked or your TV is not crooked technically because if you look at it, this tool is actually designed with this... Um, adjuster right the mode selector at a weird angle so if you go take a look at it right here you're we're in a rotary hammer mode oh, look at that sometimes it gets stuck there and then here you can switch to drill mode and then here it's just, uh, this is what you call vario lock mode or unlock mode depending on which way you look at it you can kind of twist a bit and which angle you need it just in case you needed to go here to hammer only and do chipping right so uh, this tool i have not had an issue with it getting stuck or being unable to switch to a different mode so that's a good thing mainly because you know on some of the milwaukee tools we've had that issue okay so uh, that's how that really works uh, right here is the single finger Variable speed trigger. We'll go ahead and show you this here real quick. Check this out. All right, so the variable speed trigger works pretty well. No issues there, but it is single finger, right? The other options you hear, you see on here is a switch to, 
to backward selector, forward selector, that's pretty standard, no issues there. Uh, right here is the battery slide rail. One thing I noticed since we've been seeing this on some of the other Milwaukee tools we've tested so far is that this one is not reinforced with the metal strips here. Um, so if you look at the previous episode where we checked out the, the SDS Plus D handle or, or the uh, drop motor style one, which actually ranked first on the leaderboard, that one had the little rails here and so did some of the other Milwaukee SDS hammer tested so far, but not on this fuel model, okay? So that's an interesting thing to note. The other thing here, this part is all black rubber over mold and that's pretty standard, no issues there. There's no fall rest type system that you can see here, no rafter hook or any of that, but you know, you don't really see rafter hooks on SDS hammer. Uh, so in case you need to use some fall rest system, you just tie it onto the handle there and you should be pretty good to go, right? As you can see, no, nothing on this side either and no belt hooks or anything like that, but that's pretty standard for SDS hammers, all right? It does have an LED light right here, um, as you can see right there. And as I point out in most of the SDS hammers with the light being back here on the D handle style is by the time you get a good bit here, you're gonna be like almost like two feet away from your working surface. So this light back here isn't very good, not just picking on this one, right? But just the general style of these, right? So that's something to point out, uh, but it is better than nothing, especially if you're drilling in a really dark place. So it is nice to have, but you know, does it really stand up to the competition? How does it compare to the non fuel Milwaukee uh, D handle style SDS hammer because the other thing you'll notice on here it didn't say in the marketing it didn't say anything about uh, AVS or anti-vibration or any of that right so this right here as you can see right here will say fuel brushless but right here you'll see there is no black shock absorbing thing or right here right so it's interesting because the other D handle style model had AVS right in one spot right here but this one does not, okay? So uh, I will wanna point out one other thing, all the research that we've done so far, there is no uh, dust extraction mechanism for this tool. And you know, for some reason, they didn't make one for this tool, but they do make, like Milwaukee makes an M12 model uh, dust extraction uh, kit that's pretty much universal. It kind of just cinches onto the collar here, right? And then um, it fits with almost any uh, SDS hammer on the market. So you can use that one with this, but this one does not have a dedicated dust extraction system for it, right? So anyways, too much jibber jabber. Let's go check out the performance. All right, I know y'all cut those numbers because those numbers did not go by super quick, okay? Not to spoil the ending, but let's go take a look at the recap, all right? So we ran this 2713 tool with a fully charged high output XC 8.0 battery. And on the first run, it took 25.63 seconds. Second run, 27.17 seconds. And on the third run, 28.88 seconds, all right? Uh, this tool, you know, if you average the three runs, comes in at roughly 27.23 seconds. Uh, it's a SDS Plus tool. And as we talked about all the specs already, this one has 1.7 foot-pounds of impact energy and weighs barely over six pounds at 6.05 pounds with the tool only. So it will change when you add the battery, okay? And and as we just mentioned, it has no dedicated hammer back or dust extraction system, but you can use the 2306 from Milwaukee, which is a, a universal dust extractor, right? So uh, with that being said, where does the tool rank on the leaderboard? Let's go check it out, right? So with a total performance score of 27.23 seconds, it actually ranks Bam, almost in last place on the leaderboard, uh, beating out the Ryobi PSBRH01B right, which is a compact uh, drop motor style, which had a score of 50.96, but behind uh, the 
previous uh, Makita XRH04 D handle style, uh, which I believe was brushed, if I remember correctly, which had 23.3. Five, okay, so you know a lot of questions are going to be arise and maybe people are going to be wondering why does this M18 fuel brushless tool rank almost in last place on the leaderboard, you know, behind the Makita, but in front of the Ryobi, right? But it's also going to be behind the Flex, the DeWalt, the Bosch and everything else, right? Let's go take a look at numbers, okay? So if you go take a look at uh, why this tool ranked in last place, look at the numbers, looking at the specs. This 2713 had an impact force of 1.7 foot pounds, okay? Had a BPM of 4,900 and RPM of 1,400. So even if you combine, some, uh, get the work done per minute, which we calculate as impact force times beats per minute, it has 8,300 or 83,330, right? Um, which is more than the Makita, but for some reason, the Makita, even with 1.4 foot pounds of impact energy, was able to get a better. Uh, a faster performance score on the three runs, okay? So even if you look at the numbers, the three runs of the Makita, um, the slowest run, which was 25.37, was actually faster than the fastest run of this tool, which is 25.63, right? So the other thing I wanna point out while we're talking about the runs here is that if you look at the, the grouping of the runs, the first run was 25.63, and then the third run was 28.88. For some reason, on this tool, uh, the more you run it, it appears for some reason the slower it got, un which is unlikely compared to all the other uh, tools we've tested so far on this series, which have almost always gotten faster with more runs. All right. So remember, we always run these tools from a cold state with a fully charged battery and we take the first three runs. So, you know, that's something interesting to point out. Not sure why that is or why that happened, but for some reason with this tool, it's just different, right? So anyways, point is, for some reason, the XRH04 with the lesser specs was able to pull out just a little bit more than uh, the Milwaukee M18 fuel tool here, but also even the DeWalt or, or the Flexes or other ones on this leaderboard. Um, if you take a look at the impact force, almost every single tool on this leaderboard or on this board technically um, has more impact force than this M18 fuel tool except the uh, Makita XRH04 and the Ryobi, right? Which only had 0.8, right? But 1.7, we're talking about trying to compare it to 1.9 versus two, right? The, the other Dual DCS 273 has 1.55, right? But you know, that's really, uh, not that much of a difference between 1.7, right? So, but the point is, other ones have 1.9, 2.7, we're talking about two, but this one only has 1.7. So not sure why exactly M18 or Milwaukee had this M18 fuel tool with 1.7, because they have another D handle style, which is the 2613-20, uh, uh, which has 1.95. That one is brushless, but not fuel. So, you know, this got all kinds of interesting things going up on here, but other thing to point out on here, as I tell you in all the videos, if you look at the specs, these are almost always no load uh, numbers, right? So when you put things under load, things always change, but generally speaking, the numbers are usually able to determine where the, uh, the tools rank on the leaderboard, but for some reason, this one is just an oddball, okay? So, what can we say about this tool, right? So, Milky makes a lot of SDS rotary hammers, and as you can see on the leaderboard, we have, I think, four Milwaukee SDS 18 volt or M18 rotary hammers, and this is one of the fuel models. Why does it rank in last place? I don't know, maybe it's one of the older models. We'll have to see if they have a newer fuel model and see how that works. I would imagine they would because this fuel model doesn't have ABS, it doesn't, it doesn't have a huge impact force. So I'm assuming they probably have a, a newer model, and I think one of the subscribers on the previous episode said we need to check that one out. So maybe we'll go ahead and check that one out. I will go ahead and tell you, we don't own that one right now. Oh, we did buy this one, nobody sent this to us. So, uh, you know, t you know, it's not sponsored or anything like that, but maybe it's a previously older model. But it does intrigue me that the non-fuel model of the same style 
has better numbers. So maybe they need to stop marketing this or selling it or whatnot. Maybe they do continue to sell it because it sells at a lower price point of two, like 250-ish, right? Uh, versus the other one, uh, M18 Fuel, the maybe it's a newer one or the bigger one, uh, which is closer to about 500 bucks, right? So maybe that's the reason why. But if that's the case, does this really deserve the fuel naming, right? Or the lineup? I don't really know. I'm just here to tell you the numbers, review the tools, and show you what the leaderboard looks like. So hopefully this video helped you guys out. If you have any questions, let us know. Otherwise, have a great day. Get back to work, and we'll see you guys next time.